it was about this point right here that I realized that, man, I have a mess. I need to get it cleaned up, but uh, it's just not going to happen this year. We're going to get it running, make sure everything's right, and then I will take care of everything. But uh, I, I'm realizing right this second that I screwed up. I have to tap into uh, the power tap, and I have sloppy flex sensor, and... Uh, so it actually plugs into the power tap. But before that, I have to get a five volt reference and a uh, sensor ground. So I made what I'm calling the octopus. You know, I took three wires and soldered them to one so I can uh, get off the five volt re reference and the ground and have multiples in the car for any data acquisition I want for uh, say, uh, dome pressure uh, uh back pressure even i mean th there's so many things you can use it for but uh you know for whatever reason the holly is kind of limited on the five volt and signal ground re reference stuff I, I you know whatever you, you get a lot for your money so i don't mind doing this as bad as it kills my soul i'm about to cut this orange wire that is uh my five volt reference and uh we're going to add the octopus thing is what i'm calling it but uh you'll see uh i, I wish i would have kind of done this beforehand because the grommet you see here is what's going through my firewall holding all the wires uh and it was pretty close so i had to take the wheel off and uh get in there and do this pretty tight quarters and i apologize for the thing in front of the camera <clears throat> All right, now I'm about to do the same thing for the center ground. I'm feeding my flex sensor through right now. 
I'm going to plug it up to the power tap, and then I'm going to push all these wires to the firewall so I can tap into everything that I need from there. You'll see the one stray wire. It's blue, and it's labeled. It's on the sloppy harness. It is your input for your uh, flex sensor. So I'll have to run that through and get a wire to it. pressure to the top of the wastegate uh, so therefore I can I can change my boost now on the fly with the holly not anything to do with the spring in it in the wastegate you get what I'm saying yeah. I can add pressure to it myself I'm gonna post a picture of what I'm doing, what but uh, the these are my outputs for All the boost the controller. Stuff. There's a vent solenoid and a plus, I would say, or you add pressure solenoid, and uh, the Holly controls it. And this is the outputs from it. So I'll uh, I'll put the wiring diagram up so you can kind of get what I'm doing here. So I'm doing this just like on the holly diagram. And I know I have a mess in here. But I believe this is B12. This is a black gray wire. This is going to the fill solenoid. So this is the solenoid that increases boost. And then green and black. I can't remember what number it is. But this is to uh, the vent. So this will relieve pressure. Uh, what other and then I'm gonna have dome pressure which will be an input and that is coming from the wastegate I don't know if I'll get to that tonight or not but I'm gonna try I don't know if I'm supposed to but I'm gonna tie the 12 volt switch off both of these into one because I'm running low on places to plug in for switch 12 volts. Live and learn what needs to happen now that I know what I'm doing is build a new panel. I need more relays and I also need more terminal strips. And I know a lot of like the Devin Vanderhoof or whatever he 
despises terminal strips and all that and and I just ain't I don't I haven't wrapped my mind around how you can't use them yet uh I, I guess you know better layout is the big deal you know drawing out a diagram seeing where you terminate everything and I just haven't uh I haven't got to that level and I need to be at that level so I'm going to my plans are to get it running hide all this spaghetti for a little bit and then this winter rewire it nice you know i have weather pack connectors and all that uh I, you know there's no reason for me not to have it nice and one thing people tend to forget is if you have nice wiring it is a lot simpler to diagnose if you have trouble you know now i'm gonna have to come in here and make for sure what i have wired to what i don't have a wiring diagram of any sort so when I'm at the track, if I have trouble, it's gonna be a mother effort. It's gonna be tough, should say. It's going out to the solenoids and then I tied both of them to the keyed switch power. That's my plan. And like I said, the reason I'm doing that is because I'm out of terminals over here. But we'll see. Yes, I know you're not supposed to use these. That's what I got. You know, it is what it is. Like I said, I really plan on redoing this. If I can keep my act together. really like for the car to go fast enough that we get kicked out of the track. I have to put a cage in it and I have to redo the wiring. It'd be awesome. <laughs> Goals, right? These buck connectors have the glue in them. Man, they're amazing. I mean, damn near solder them. Or like solder, I guess. Really like them. Over here. Hey, looky there. I have one open. I didn't even think I had that. I thought I was gonna have to stack it. I ain't even gonna lie. So, Bam. Turn on strip. All right. I have to do it in the holly now, but them are wired. Bam. I'll show you all this. I have that split up where it's battery, key power, and ground, and I should have had way more terminals. You know, this board started out real nice and fancy and ended up being spaghetti. All right, now this wire is three wires because it is going to go to an input, a sensor ground, and a five volt reference. And I have these in the back now. That's what I added earlier, is where these will tie in. So they're gonna be fun though, because they're in the back of the car. So, or I say they're up in the firewall. It's gonna be real fun. Figuring out what's what is gonna be the fun part. Should have thought about that. Should have planned ahead a little bit. Can't think of it all, man. That's why I go back to like the Devin Vanderhoof guy or whatever. Kudos to him for being able to plan out an entire car. You know, that's my plan. 
later on, like I said. I did use a good shielded wire though. All right, guys, now I'm gonna go up on the wastegate because my stupid self can't remember what wires I made what. So now I'm gonna look up a diagram and I'll post that up for you. And I'm gonna figure out what wires go where. But one is five volt reference, one is sensor ground, and one is an input. Because you're inputting into the ECU what the dome pressure is. So this will be from the wastegate. And that will tell you what to do on the outputs that are on the vent and fill solenoid on the MAC valves. Hope I'm explaining that to where you understand. And I'm learning myself still, so. All right, let's go do it. Okay, what I'm doing here is just verifying what wires go where. I'll post up a diagram so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, I'm about done for the night. You see I had a couple of adult beverages too. Uh, got all the inputs and outputs done. Um, it's gonna be a few days before we try it. Gotta get to some tuning and make sure everything's working and wired up right. And then uh, maybe I'll get some video of this thing rolling down the road for you guys. I'm excited to make boost noises. I'm super pumped, so we'll get her going for too long and uh, see what y'all think.